Hello everybody, it's Saturday morning. It's April 25th, the feast day of St. Mark the Evangelist. Kind of an exciting day. Um, and so let us open up our hearts to be able to internalize the gospel message. Loving God, you send your Holy Spirit upon us to be able to build up your church. Help us to understand our evangelists. Help us to understand the basic message about Jesus Christ so that we can feel his presence within us and be animated by the same Holy Spirit and give witness that God is alive. God is guiding us. God is on our side and trying to help us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so let us look at our scripture readings for today. This is from the Gospel of Mark. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I've always been a huge fan of the Apostle Mark because I always have respect for people who innovate and to try new things. And it's, I think it's kind of a neat thing to see somebody do such a great innovation as to write a gospel. I don't know how much there would have been that kind of writing style going on at that time. And to think, I'm going to take this message about Jesus Christ and I'm going to route it through this thing called a gospel where we're going to have theology mixed in with narrative and to simply tell the story of Jesus Christ with but conveying the points of emphasis that Jesus Christ would want emphasized especially given the gift of the Holy Spirit teaching us to do so. And what a marvelous pattern to be able to have, and you can see how long it lasted. Still 2,000 years later, we find ourselves reading these Gospels and coming to life. This Jesus Christ is so real to us. The apostles, their strengths and weaknesses, very real to us. What a remarkable gift to have that original experience written down so clearly that we can understand it 2,000 years later so that we too can be connected to the risen Christ who is available to us through the sacraments, through the word of God, through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, and as we point out in this gospel reading here, through accompanying signs. So the gospel itself is an accompanying sign. That point of genius, how well it was executed, is a miracle. And we can point to that miracle and say, yep, there it is. But we can also point outward and see within our own lives how there's been accompanying signs. There's been accompanying signs the whole journey of miracles that have occurred. And it's good for us to talk about the things we experience as miracles. And, of course, there's some remarkable miracles, like um, the understanding of changing um, a few fish and a few barley loaves into enough food to feed a multitude and so that's one great miracle. But it could be our simple miracles of asking for the Holy Spirit today and then happen to be at the right place at the right time to be able to think things through and to make things happen and be attentive to somebody who needed our help right here and now. All of these things are remarkable gifts. And so we ask God to help us to be like Mark to experience Jesus Christ risen and open up our hearts and our lives and our minds to innovate, to innovate to pass on this good news and to help us to pray enough so that we will know how best to do it today in a way that's reasonable, responsible, and exciting. And as we do so, we will find that we give hope to a world. And so let us pray. Loving God, you give us so many good gifts. 
help us to see how you take care of your church and help us to communicate that to other people. Give us courage to talk about miracles with other people and encourage other people to tell us about their miracles so that we can understand that life itself is a miracle and God is present to us and helping us on the way. And may you bless us in this journey. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Again, this is Father Michael Irwin. Remember, we do have streamed Masses, um, 8 o'clock on weekdays and 9 o'clock on Sunday. And I think there's a Spanish Mass at 10 o'clock as well that Father Eric does. So hopefully you feel welcome to be able to tune in through our websites and Facebook pages to be able to find that streaming. May God bless your week ahead. Bye-bye.